Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dates coming back at you with another video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of the support and I appreciate everyone that follows me on all of my platforms, TikTok, um, Instagram, and YouTube. King of Automation on TikTok, King of Automation on Instagram, and of course, Dr. Patrick Dix on um, YouTube. So the title of this video is the names that we have named our children in artificial intelligence. What I wanna to talk to people about is this is something that I've heard my whole life. And this is not even race or gender specific, but the names that you have named your children. You, back in the, back in the day, you had a person that would um, reject the application or resume. Now you have artificial intelligence, excuse me, that will do the same. There was an old name back in the there not an old name. There was some there was a saying back in the day is name your child something to where at least they can get an interview. We know many people have not done that. They love to name their kids these crazy names and wonder why their kid can have this exorbitant amount of education and cannot get a job or interview. What I want you to realize is if you're like myself and you haven't had kids yet, or you have had kids. Many people have already crippled their child's future by their name. Whether you want to believe it or not, that is the truth. We cannot sit up here and say, well, that's not true. I know such and such that made it. Such and such made it, but they made it through the crypt. They made it through the cracks, as we would call it. If you have named your child one of these crazy names and wonder why they're still sitting in your basement, sitting on your couch, and they have a bachelor's degree, master's degree, a doctorate degree, or whatever they may have, Think about the name that you named you. Think about the name that you named them. It sounded cute. It sounded cute until you had to pronounce that name, or it sounded cute because it made you feel good, not knowing this child is going to have a hard life ahead of them because of what you named them. Now, with artificial intelligence running through resumes and job applications, it is another way for this to happen. This is why people have to listen to people when they want to pick a name out for a child that's common or you want to pick something else out for a kid. It sounds cute, but it's not cute. It's very ignorant. I'm gonna just call it what it is. Now the kid has to go by their middle name. I actually knew somebody that said, you know what? She was in a group with her. She said, you know what? My mom or dad, I can't remember which person named her the weird name. She said, I have to go by my middle name to make sure I at least get a job interview or at least my application is forwarded because of the name that they named me. Now, whose fault is that? You have a bright child that can do anything in the world, but they can't get any further because of their name. I know people may say, well, that's bias. Somebody's name should not determine anything. Well, the world that we're living in, you're gonna have to get prepared for that. And I knew that going growing up as a kid, and I'm glad my parents named us common names, and I'm glad many of my cousins named their children common names. I want you to think about some of the names you've heard. If you're a professor like myself, you ran across some weird names. Think about people that have weird names. Most of them can't even spell them or how it sounds. And I'm not gonna get, get on here and say any names because you know I don't wanna sing out anybody, but I want people to understand what you name a child impacts their life. Way before computers came around, when a resume had to physically be scanned or viewed by somebody or application, you are determining a child's future by what they are named. And people don't seem to get that. But now it's about to catch up with you. You, We are now in the technological world to where very few HR people or very few managers are actually gonna read an application. They are gonna let AI actually scan over it or forward it to them. And you're gonna say, I, I told you my cousin with the name, blah, 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 um, could have did the job. Well, you know, we picked somebody else. And what you're gonna notice is it's going to be a reoccurrence of that. And then somebody gonna say, well, it's racist. They being biased. No, what was crazy was to name them a name that they could not pronounce or even spell correctly. As I said before in the video, we have to be honest with people in the world that we're living in. Many people have failed to be honest with people and this has led to many inconsistencies. Excuse me, y'all holding the phone. Many of these, um, many of these uh, inconsistencies have led to failures in life and led to people not getting further along in life because of a name. A name means a lot in life. I want everybody to be proud of their name, 
excuse me, but you can't have a name to where, how do you spell that? How do you pronounce that? Does it have an accent on it? Does it have this name on it? You and Dale and kids and adults I met said, my mom and dad wanted to be special and name me something special. I said, and I asked them, did your parents ever think about, would you be able to get a job or get an interview? And kids get depressed and they get mad. And I met adults, as I said before, that had to use their middle name. Do not hamper your child's progress by naming them these crazy names. We've seen so many examples of this to where you would have think people have learned. It's not even race specific. It's not gender specific. It's everybody because we want to pay homage to this. We want to pay homage to that. It's fine to want to do that, but will your child be able to make any money or will they be sitting at the home with you, sitting at home with you? That is the reality of the world we're living in. AI can go through a resume. AI can go through an application. Before, if somebody had a name like that, somebody knew they were good for the job and they say, hold up, I'll tell such and such, and such to look at your application or I'll tell such and such to look at your resume and you could get around it. It's hard to get around that when systems and when, excuse me, it's hard to get around that when systems are in place that don't even talk to people to where they just get a um, stack of resumes and job applications. People, if you want to win in this world, you must be smart. And as I've said before in several videos, artificial intelligence and automation are the great equalizers in life. You will not get around these technologies. You need to understand what's going on. And you wanna know how you avoid these kinds of uh, situations? Name your kid a common name. Have your kid go get an education. Have your kid play by the rules. And I'm gonna create further videos on how the technology, I've done it before, how these two technologies not only are eliminating jobs, they are, they are being used to catch more criminals. A lot of y'all scammers out there thinking, well, you know the computer systems, man, can't catch up with what I'm doing. Nah, it's not working like that anymore. They're catching up with everything. If they're using systems to use facial recognition to catch people, if they're using systems to um, filter through applications and resumes, if they're using these systems to do back systems to do background checks, what make you think they won't use these systems to do applications and resume searches? You have to be very careful in the world we're living in. I know it's a touchy subject, but I'm very realistic with people. I, I hate a lot of people. I have to be honest with them. And I like to let people know when I discover things or stuff that's on my mind that really applies to what we're going through or what's about to happen, I like to share it with everyone so they can prepare. So the topic of this video was artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence and the names that we name our kids. I want to thank you for viewing my channel. And if you have any questions, my contact information will be in the um, box below the video. So again, this is Dr. Patrick Dix. I'll see you on the next video and have a great one. Peace.